uh, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. <coughs> First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson <coughs> by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chak, Badash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, taught us this 100% truth. Salutations unto the 144,000 doing the work of the Lord in all truth, honor, and sincerity. Shalom to the one third men, women, and children <clears throat> who believe in this word being taught unto them. I'm not sure what I'm going to title this one. Probably won't be too long anyway. But I'm just bringing something up, man. You know, uh, I was in the gym yesterday and the notification popped up. So let's see when this was posted. This was posted on the 20th of May. At 4.31 in the morning I didn't get the notification at 4.31 in the morning I got it later on uh, At night yesterday um, Yesterday being the 20th You know, today is the 21st of May Alright, so um, Yeah, as you may or may not know I'm going to read it here anyway It says, um, breaking All of the people in the helicopter Including Iran President Raisi If I'm saying it correctly So lucky if I'm not, have died all right, so the president of Iran, as well as a few other people, which, it, you know, the list goes on to state, they died um, yesterday, man, in a helicopter accident. Now, to me, I'll be honest with you, it don't seem like no uh, accident to me. The fact being that there was so many, like, I mean, let's go through the list of people that was on board, right? You had the president, Abraham Raisi So like if I'm not pronouncing it right So you had Abraham Raisi on board You had the foreign minister uh, Hossein Amir Ab Abdolian I believe <clears throat> Then you got The governor of Eastern Azerbaijan province Malik Ramati uh, And then I don't want to just say some other guys, but I mean, you know, they had a security bodyguard, co pilot, pilot, and things of that nature, man. But how do you have the president, the foreign minister, and the governor on board the same helicopter that happens to just mysteriously. Uh, I don't even know how it's destroyed, but, you know, information's still fresh, so, you know, expect more information to come out on it, but I thought I'd bring it out anyway. Because it's quite heavy Because um, wasn't it Iran That that uh, You know They had that I hate when flies in my car I'm not going to lie So like yeah. Anyway wasn't it Wasn't it Iran Who recently uh, uh, You know They pretty much Kind of went at it With um, Israel You know uh, Where they sent those uh, what, what was it they sent man Them drones I believe it was Them drone strikes <clears throat> If I'm not mistaken which it cost the Iranians millions for that and then it cost Israel billions to defend against it and you know Iran got you know hundreds of thousands of them drones man so they can they can play that game all day but then now Ian we've got the president it says at the bottom first vice president Mohammed Mokba is next in line for succession all right so again it's not crystal clear or well, at least I don't know how Exactly <clears throat> This um, Incident occurred You know Here's the pictures Of them Probably in the same order That is written out in here I would imagine Okay <laughs> Let's see some of the comments See what the people Them are saying What security team Put all of them On one helicopter That's what I was saying um, So very sad for the world So to me, I don't know how much of an accident it is, but I mean, you know, all of, all will be revealed in due time. You know, we just gotta watch as well as pray. Um, them playing chess with people's lives and future seems too convenient with ev everything happening in the Middle East, right? You know, it just seems too convenient. Just, just get rid of the Iranian president, the, uh, the governor. Uh, who else is it? Foreign minister. You know, yeah, just get rid of him. With all that's happening. So, don't know. Seems a bit sus. You know, but we'll see. 
And what security team put all these people together in a single helicopter, right? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. You know, for it to just be a quote-unquote accident. <clears throat> right? See, the crash is very odd considering the small area of damage within the vicinity of the crash. Looks like the helicopter was low altitude but could not land because its systems were compromised. Two versions about no, <laughs> yeah, because you know, n none of them man they are burning in hell, man, you know, but they ain't gonna be having sex in heaven either, or nothing. But you know, it's just, just a bit of folly, that's a bit funny. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, man, you know, that's 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 what's going on, all right. You know, this this is this is the latest breaking news, which again is heavy considering what's been going on with Iran, you know, pertaining to Israel and that kind of thing. So it's heavy, man. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, man. This is Sirach chapter 5 and verse 15. And it reads, Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. So we ain't, we ain't ignoring uh, this at all. All right, we're, you know, Scriptures say to measure the times diligently uh, by way of prophecy, man. Now we know World War Three is indeed a biblical prophecy, so we are, of course, anticipating World War Three. All right, and uh, well, I, I guess you know um, we, we pretty much just have to watch how these other countries react and just see what happens going forward, man. You know, let's see what Israel has to say, America has to say, what Russia has to say. You know, is Russia gonna stand more in the line of defense now that maybe I don't know uh, the Iranians could be seen as, as 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 weakened or you know, you just never know, man. But as the scriptures say, Sirach five and fifteen, be not ignorant of anything in a great manner, in a great matter, or a small. All right, so. Yeah, man. Let's let's just uh, let's just um, watch the space, man, and let's see what happens. Okay. <clears throat> times we're living in man Luke 21 and 36 watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man all right so we want to be counted worthy to escape these plagues judgments and death unless you know we have to die for this truth different story but if we just got a dire you know an honourable death. We ain't, we, ain't, we ain't really trying to be about that, man. All right, but you know we're watching, we're praying, okay? Because this is how we kind of measure uh, how much time we've got left. We know that there's been a lot of news on the MOTB in the you know recent weeks. All uh, right, there's been a lot of uh, you know wars and rumours of wars recently as well, escalations. A lot of distractions, Diddy and Hollywood being exposed, so you know, we're living in that time man. You know, so now is the time to, to, to double down in the spirit, you know, and get serious about Yahweh Ba Shimi Al Shai. Alright. Um there was a preset that just came to mind and it escaped me, Salakia. Second edge was nine. And one <coughs> says uh he answered me then and said 
measured out the time diligently in itself. And when thou see as part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And the Most High, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, is beginning to visit the world which he made. And in that, there's a lot of judgment going out, a lot of deaths, a lot of, you know, adverse weather and earthquakes and storms and tornadoes and you know the lord is the one that's that's moving uh the chess pieces man you know which the lord remember you know this is the most high's movie all right we must always remember that and he's the one that's he's the script writer and he basically took those people out the script okay for his purpose so let's just wait and see uh, Deuteronomy 39 is what I want. Am I bugging? 32 and 39, is it? Yes, sir. Deuteronomy 32 and 39, and it reads, <clears throat> See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make alive, I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Alright, so there was no one that was going to be able to save any of those on board the helicopter. Alright, the Most High said it was their time. It was their time, man. You know, scriptures say whoever perished being innocent. So the Most High called out their number and no, they ain't burning in hell. You know, let's quickly prove that. Alright, but I don't know, what is it? Ecclesiastes 12 and 7? Yep, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return. To the earth as it was And the spirit shall return Unto the most high who gave it So then the spirit world right now 2 Corinthians 5 Talks about how we all must appear Before the judgment seat of the heavenly father So if they haven't done so already They will be appearing before the judgment seat Of the heavenly father Giving their judgment They dwell in the spirit world Three, four generations later And their family line They come back So more than likely You know more than likely They'll come back in the kingdom you know, provided that they're they're not Israelites, they'll be slaves in the kingdom. But yeah, 